So there's this video right now of Chuck Todd on Meet the Press basically being combative with this GOP senator about how they're contesting the cheese selection. And these journalists are getting a whole lot more aggressive now that they think Joey Baseman has successfully put this in the bag. And I just wanted to remind everybody of something. All of these mainstream news outlets, ABC, NBC, CBS, CNBC, MSNBC, all of these mainstream news outlets are owned by a very small, very tight-knit group of individuals. And these pundits, these journalists that are put up on the stage and, and, ele and artificially elevated to superstar status to be the talking points of, these, of this very small group of people are employed. They are employed. They are signing the back of a paycheck, not the front of a paycheck, and their thoughts are not their own. Just so you know. These exact same media conglomerates own the television stations, the production companies, the movie production houses, the newspapers, the magazines, and all of the interconnected structures and individual TV stations, radio stations, and media distribution points. They own all of them from the top to the bottom. And every single thing that you see that's like, oh wow, that's, like, that's conditioning me for this or that. It is because they own them all. Those people are employees. They are employees. Remember that. Now remember the interconnected nature of how all these companies work in concert with each other. Think about the large corporations. Who pays for these TV stations, newspapers, magazines, uh, televisions? Who, how, who pays for them? Who, who supports and finances these movies? Think about it. Who pays for them? You know who pays for them? Advertisers. Okay, right? So you have a TV station that has ads on it. Who's buying all those ads? Your Geico's, your Allstate's, all these mega corporations, Coca-Cola, Pepsi, Frito-Lay, right? You have all these big companies that are buying ads, which means that they can influence the material that appears on those stations and in those media outlets. You see? So it's like, if the TV station doesn't toe the line for the person that buys the most advertising, they don't buy the advertising. So they're beholden to them through financial means. So. And then think about Hollywood. Think about how if you're an actor in Hollywood, if you go against, if you go against the grain, you're not going to get hired. You're not going to get any because at the end of the day, the interconnected piece, the thing that sways most people is money. Because as sad as it is, pretty much everyone has a price. That's where it all gets bamboozled. And then you got to remember, you got to remember that the Federal Reserve Bank is not a government institution. It is a privately owned entity. This organization has the ability to print money out of thin air. Look it up. And even though it has public components and it has pieces that are intertwined with the federal government, it also has private ownership. So it is not completely and wholly federal in that sense. So up until President Nixon, the money in that Federal Reserve Bank was backed by gold. And now it's not. And they continue to move the goalposts and change policies of what the Federal Reserve can and cannot do. And that single thing alone is where all of the source goes back to. And just a heads up, and I'm sure you already know this, the people listed on the Forbes 100 as the 100 richest people in the world are not the richest people in the world. If you think that Bill Gates and Z and Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos are the richest people in the world? Mm -mm. The richest people in the world you don't know about. That's the point. These are simply the people that have public facing and thus publicly disclosed obvious ownership of which someone can calculate. You gotta think about how these people supposedly earned their wealth within their lifetime. You're not thinking about generational wealth, generational fortunes. Fortunes on fortunes passed down. Look at Anderson Pooper. That will give you one indication of the type of people that I may be talking about. Again, what it all comes down to is that you gotta look deep. Deep! You gotta look deep. Okay? Look deep. We are seeing the tip of the iceberg on TV. This is part of an incredibly deep structure. And if you think that we're all just chilling here and they're like, let's give them the straight facts on freaking MSNBC. Yo, mm-mm, fam, uh-uh, 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 they got it. 
Stay woke.